Arthur Clark uh, has the famous uh, saying that uh, every technology that is sufficiently advanced is indistinguishable from magic. And uh, uh, it will be really interesting to be in a world where you can reasonably expect any object to be intelligent. Um, the analogy I would uh, make is with maps. Um, we both experienced the time when a map was on paper and uh, you couldn't zoom. You know, as much as you stretch the paper, it, the scale remained the same. It didn't have a search function. All the streets were listed on the back of the paper and you had to look them up in alphabetical order mm. and then it would give you a square and then you had to find it in the square and maybe, where well, is it? You, you couldn't find it right away, let alone optimizing a route between two points. Mm. But that is what uh, maps could do. Now, with the digital maps, we are accustomed to all these functions and many more. How many times we go somewhere like you did uh, arriving this morning and say, oh, I'm hungry. What are my options uh, for eating <clears throat> literally around myself? Uh, uh, we extend uh, our ability to uh, look in our environment mm. with so many more uh, valuable data points. So just like as uh, a humble but important object like a map gained incredible new uses by becoming digital, the same it is going to be for every object around us as it gains uh, intelligence mm. and uh, not only observes our behavior, but uh, talks with other intelligent objects uh, in the environment to establish how it can uh, be a valuable component of this ecosystem. Mm. Um, I don't think that universal basic income is the right solution uh, for our future social contract. Uh, I am concerned uh, of uh, the government's ability to issue and then to revoke the privilege of being able to eat uh, because of whatever reason and the universal basic income uh, is not uh, like air where everywhere I can breathe, I can walk or travel and I know wherever I am I will be able to breathe, right? But UBI would be dependent on the benevolence mm. towards every individual of a government forever. However, I also believe that the current social contract that says your value is equal to your own individual economic output, and when that economic output goes to zero because you are jobless, you are worthless, is horrible, is not only morally wrong, but it will be also untenable when so many people will make a lot of effort to adapt, but the speed of their adaptability is not going to be high enough. And also, sooner or later, all of them, including myself, I don't know about you, we will say, listen, I did everything I could, and I cannot do more, but I still feel that, that I am a human being. I have my dignity. I am worth uh, something. So we need... Um, a different kind of support system. The same way we have AIR, which is a wonderful and quite important support system that we rely on invisibly, the same way we can develop an economic support system where the intelligent objects around you um, support you with your needs. And whether that is expressed in a monetary exchange or not is another question. There may be still use for a common denominator. 
but um, a, an example I have for this is, I don't know if you saw in my kitchen, I have like seven different containers for the different type of trash. Uh, uh, glass and uh, plastic and paper and uh, organic and uh, undifferentiated. And then there is also, you know, larger things that I have to bring to the recycling place. And each of these get picked up uh, once a week uh, and uh, they are evolving the system. So they have started uh, measuring the volume. You cannot uh, put out a volume that is more than a given amount. And they check it and they fine you if you uh, generate too much trash. But the system I have in mind is kind of the opposite. Imagine a robotic arm, like a little robot dog, that is ready and eager to pick up any piece of trash that I throw out of my terrace, and it is able to immediately evaluate it and negotiate a value for that to be given over to another little autonomous car you know, a very small form factor something, transporter, that comes and says, oh yeah, I need this. Basically, just by living in the house, through the trash that I generate, I build the value that, at least in part, pays for my food or rent or whatever else, right? And, and, uh, uh, what is interesting, in my opinion, about uh, this uh, scenario is that it is a natural consequence of what you already do. And uh, it is just part of a new um, intelligent digital technological environment. I, I totally love how you're thinking on this. And you're looking for the 2 billion out of the 8 billion people who have already got the house and they have got the trash and all those. I'm looking for the people who don't have the house and don't have the trash even. So for example, the reason I am so, and I was so persistent on that people should be educated on how to use this AI is because we have the collective intelligence of humankind already available to all of us. So for example, we are in Italy and in Italy, dried tomato is a big thing and pesto sauce is a big thing but uh, in pakistan is not a good big thing we have a lot of sun but a lot of tomato maybe 70 percent of the tomato is thrown away because it spoils and they don't know that they can actually dry it in the sun we have a lot of sun for free we have the tomato for free and it's like a penny a kilo and people throw it out because they don't know even in today's day and age, they don't know that dude you can just dry this Put it in a bag and sell it on an Amazon store and you will get 10x more money than you have. So that's why I'm more interested that today we have the collective knowledge of humankind available to us. When you say that you want to throw the trash out and there is a negotiation and there is a usage of this trash somewhere. Somebody is willing to pay for that trash. That's what you're saying also. Yeah. And I'm saying the same thing for the tomato. Yeah. I'm saying there's a tomato, the farmer is working hard. Uh, and he grew the tomato, but he's only selling the fresh tomatoes. He doesn't know that he could just upskill it, up, you know, up, add value to it and make more money. And then that makes more abundance future for us because the more value you add to something or you know that there's a value to something, that's when it becomes valuable because we don't know who will pay us for this trash. 